Shalom family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me or deciding to click on my video, God bless you. Thank you so much for making that. Thank you so much for clicking on that video. I pray you never regret it. I pray God uses this channel to minister to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, you already know family. I love you and I intercede for you always. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I've got this prophetic word for someone. It's always exciting for me. Each time I'm bringing a prophetic word to you or I'm bringing to you the word of God. I came across this scripture and it ministered to me powerfully and I knew it was God talking to someone. It was God talking directly to someone I had to share with us. Jo Joshua chapter 24 and verse 22. So Joshua, so Joshua said to the people, you are witnesses against yourself that you have chosen the Lord for yourself to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. Now, therefore, he said, put away the foreign gods which are among you and incline your heart to the Lord God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, the Lord our God will we serve and his voice will we obey. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is telling them that they are a witness to the fact that they have accepted Jesus as their Lord. As they have accepted God as the God they want to serve. Now, in your case, you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You are a witness to that. You attest to the fact that you accepted. Nobody pointed a gun at you to say, choose you to the nobody. You made a conscience. You heard the word of God. It ministered to you. You got convicted and you decided to serve the Lord. So, God is telling you, you are a witness of your salvation. Now, you've got to put away strange gods. What does that mean? You've got to put away every backup plan. You've got to put away everything that you used to count on for spiritual guidance or for protection or provision, whatever the case is. You've got to put off every backup plan. He was saying this to the Israelites because there was a time Moses went up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments. On coming back, he had already uh, asked Aaron to create for them a God, to, to, to create for them an image that they can worship. Your case might not be this exact thing, but you have your backup plan. You have where you go to when you feel like God is not really working. Yes, you are serving God. Yes, you worship, you praise, but you have a backup plan. You have what you, you can do when you feel like God is wasting time. God says, put it away. God says, put it away. And the people said, the Lord our God is the God we're going to serve and his voice we are going to obey. Now, what does it mean to obey the voice of God? It means doing what God wants you to do regardless of how it makes you feel. Regardless of whether you're thinking he's wasting time or you're thinking the, the method is not appropriate. Obeying him and doing what he says you should do. I don't know how this ministers to you, but I prayed before making this video that it would minister to the right person, is going to get to the right person, and God is going to, 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 to make it resonate with your spirit. If you have chosen to serve the Lord, burn up every backup plan. Obey God, follow him and trust him for guidance and direction. Trust that he will not lead you astray. Hallelujah, glory to God. I pray that this word ministers to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Until I see you again, I remain your humble intercessor. I love you so much and I'm always interceding for you. God bless you. Shalom.